Well, hello everybody and happy Thursday. It is time for Stamping with Lisa. And I'm Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com coming to you live. And like I said, it's Thursday, June 30th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Eastern time. So if you're on here right this minute at 7 p.m. Eastern, you're live. And I see a bunch of people on here, yay! We've got, let's see, Kathy, Laura, Debbie, hey girl. Looks like cool card to model for the 10 and 20, yep. Um, Sherry, Julie, Laura, Brenda, Barbara, Jude, Lorraine, Deborah. How is everybody doing? Terry, um, you sound like you have a cold. You know what? <laughs> I got a funny story. <laughs> So, I don't have a cold, but for some reason I've been a little bit nasally today, but um, I just woke up. <laughs> oh, Lorraine, you got my card in the mail. Good, good. Debbie, you're alive. I'm so glad. I know, it wouldn't be a, a live video without you on here. Because you are just the, the queen of my live videos. I think everybody likes to see you more than they like to see me sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so today I went and got my, um, monthly massage, which I love to do, but you know how you got to lay like face down and your face in that little hole donut thing. So I don't know why, whenever I have to lay face down in that thing, it makes me real nasally because I guess gravity makes all your sinuses kind of drain. So I started out a little nasally today, but then I was fine. And then I came home and I guess that that massage just kind of like relaxed me so much. I couldn't really do much today. So I did a little bit for a couple hours and then I was just like so relaxed. I just couldn't even concentrate. And I said, I need to go lay down and take a nap. And I laid down and take a nap about 3.30 and I just woke up about six o'clock. <laughs> and I looked at the clock, I was like, oh my God. Thank God I already had this card planned for today, so I had everything ready to go, or else I would be in big trouble because normally I don't even come up with my card till right before the video, so I did this card in my class the other day, and so I already knew I was going to do it today for 10 and 20, and uh, so luckily I had everything cut, ready to go, and I just had to um, get up and <laughs> come over here to my stamping table and... Uh, get ready so that's why I kind of sound a little bit funny because I really just crawled out of bed <laughs> and I'm just like wow <sighs> I tell you some days you just need those naps and little kids just don't realize how lucky they are and then you know 30 years later they'll think back and say man I wish I hadn't fought so hard about those naps oh Debbie you are chatty Kathy that's for sure <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, that massage is worth every penny. And I have the best guy, too. He's just so amazing. And then they have this thing. If you have a um a subscription or, like, you know, a month-to-month -month thing at Massage Lux, or Massage and Envy might have it, too. I don't know. But I go to Massage Lux, and they have this hydro massage thing. So after you finish your regular massage, you can go in this room and lay on this, like, hydro bed for another 15 minutes. And it's like a heated massage thing that goes up and down your body. And um, that is, like, amazing, too. I wish I could afford to buy one of those for my own house. I'm sitting here looking at my hands going across the screen. <laughs> oh, hey, Minda. Oh... Donna, you slept all day yesterday. Are you sick or you just took a nap, a long nap? I wish I could sleep all day one day. Today was my day off and I ran a whole bunch of errands this morning. And when I go to um, get my massage, you know, it's like a couple doors down from nothing bunt cakes. So I always have to go there and get a couple bunt cakes and then come home and eat them. So I was probably on a sugar coma too, a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> but I feel so good right now. <laughs> Of course, I'll probably be laying in bed, you know, till like 3 in the morning trying to go back to sleep. But I have some bad news because um, I think I told you like one of the girls at work quit. So 
um, I have to work this weekend. I'm working tomorrow night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday night. So I will not be here for date night with Lisa on Saturday. So we're going to have to do it early. So we're going to have a uh, date um, breakfast with Lisa instead of date night or date morning. I don't know. But it'll be probably early, like 10 or 11 in the morning on Saturday. So for those of you like in other countries, that might work really well. Um, but I will be um, on here much earlier Saturday. So if you want to hit the live on Saturday, it's probably going to be 10 or 11-ish because I'll have to go to work about one or two maybe I don't know well it'll be sometime between between 10 and 12 I guess I don't know um Debbie you always sleep after a massage you haven't had one in two years and your son is a mas massage therapist uh I don't think I'd want to go to my son mm -mm. my massage therapist and I have a really good uh relationship he's he's this really nice looking guy and we always like flirt a little bit but not like anything bad or anything, but he's just so sweet and I love going to him. I don't think I'd want my son to see me like that. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but he's so good. And oh my gosh, I'm so relaxed when I finish going there. I love it. If I was rich, I would have one every single day. All right. So this is what we're making. Um, oh, Sandy, it's dinner time for you when, when I'm live. So now you can watch, oh, you're cooking right now. Well, on Saturday, you can watch me in the morning, so then it won't be dinner time. It'll be breakfast time. So, shame, shame, work is a four-letter word. I know it. I know it. It really is. I really don't want to have to work. I just want to play all day and make cards and have fun. Wouldn't that be the life if we could just do that? All right, so guess what tomorrow is? It is celebration time. So, tomorrow is the first day of celebration. It's the first day of the new holiday mini catalog, and we're having a special starter kit special. So, oops, I can't show you that. Oh, sorry, pretend you didn't see that sneak peek. Um, so there's a special in here, but I can't show it to you yet. I have it here though. So this is the starter kit special. So you get this gorgeous planner, and I already showed it to you a while back. Um, so it is so amazing look how pretty it is so it has july through um i took the things out it's got july through july of this year through december of next year but the pages are not dated so you can actually start it whenever you want to but it has the big calendar page right here like july but if you want to start it on january you can start it in january because none of the days have numbers on them so you can just date it whenever you want um so i probably since i already have one for this year probably won't really start using it till next year but i can use it for like a little notebook and stuff because it comes with tons and tons and tons and tons of paper it doesn't even all fit so you can just put like half of it in there now and you get a stamp set to go with it and you get three notebooks to go in there well not to go in there but just to have with you so it's the planner the notebooks the stamp set and all the stuff that you need to go in here and it is so pretty i love it love it love it and the only way you can get it is to join or be a stampin up demonstrator if you're already a demonstrator you can order it um it's 45 dollars um i forget the number but it's on the website if you go to the website and then celebration starts tomorrow. So for every $50 you order, you get a free item out of this catalog. Hopefully you've gotten yours by now. And there's a few things in there that are with a $100 order. So um, I can't show you what they are because I hope I don't get in trouble for showing you that page a minute ago. But we can only like, oops, sorry, sneak peek there. And then we've got this mini catalog, which starts tomorrow, which is beautiful also. And has lots of goodies in there. And um, lots of Christmassy stuff, Halloween, all that kind of stuff. So um, after tomorrow, I can show you what's in here if you don't already have it. So that's all that. So let's get down to stamping since we've chatted enough. Um, hello, everybody who just got on here. How is everybody? Oh, Tina, you're undecided about buying the planner. Well, 
that I guess you're already a demonstrator. If you're already a demonstrator, you can buy it, but it's got a stamp set too, so it's really a pretty good deal. Because you figure the stamp set's worth about 15 bucks right there, so it's really only like $30. Um, Debbie says, I don't mind, and he is so professional, an awesome, cute guy. Is he single? <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, so this is also my card kit for July 1st through 15th. So if you place an order of $50 or more, you'll get a kit to make three of these cards. So that will be the card kit. And if you already placed an order this month through today is the last day, you'll get a kit to make three of these cards. So that's um, what I was doing earlier was cutting all the paper for this one to send out um, tomorrow and Saturday. I'll send them all out, so... Today's the last day that you can get this card kit. So let me show you what you need for this one. So we have got, let me see, lots and lots of paper. So it is 10 of these, because we're making 10 tonight. So 10, five and a half by eight and a half night of navy, and I've already folded those in half. 10 of these, which is the same color, but I don't know if you could tell, I have it layered. So it's the half of half a sheet of cardstock, and then I have a layer of the Knight of Navy on top. I thought it just looked really pretty like that. Instead of having just the one folded card, I added another layer. And then we've got, this is the inside of it. Then we've got white for the inside. So that's also five and a quarter by four. And then we've got so many pieces of paper here. Um, four and a quarter by two and a quarter granny apple green, um, two by four of the designer series paper of a hues of happiness and all these little pieces of so saffron two and a quarter by one half. Those are for your words. So that's everything for this card. So let me put it all together and you can get a screenshot of that. And then you'll be able to make 10 of them too. And if you order a place an order with me, then I'll send you a kit to make three of them yourself. So after today, oh, demonstrators cannot buy them after today. I didn't know that today is the last day to buy it. Um, thanks for telling me that, Deborah. I'm glad I already got mine. I did not know that. Maybe I should have got two. They're so nice. They're really nice to give us gifts, too. Um, I don't really need an extra one, but... Oh, the number is 159957. So if you're a demonstrator, you can order the planner. Today is the last day, 159957. So thank you, thank you for that information, because I did not know that. I thought we could still buy them. So if you did not get one... Oh, you can only buy one. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Um, Mary says, I am blurry. But I see myself clear as a bell on my computer. So hopefully you guys are seeing me clear. Because we're going to get started in a second. Let me take all these off. And this paper I love. I wish I'd have brought the big sheet. But so this whole sheet looks like, you know, all different colors. So I was trying to decide what color to use for the background piece because... There's so many colors in here, but each piece is different. So I was afraid if I used like um, Pool Party or So Saffron or something, I would get a piece that didn't have that color in it. So all of them have the Knight of Navy. So that's why I picked Knight of Navy for that. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, so I think what I'm gonna start with is the inside of the card. So this piece, we're not going to stamp on at all. So I'm just going to put it to the side. We're going to be stamping on these two and our little words. So let's get started. We don't have any ribbon today, so that'll save me a little bit of time. All right, so it's 7.15. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Look at all these bites I have. I swear I keep picking at them. All these little bites from those yellow flies that attacked me. All right, so can you hear and see me really good? Because I'm getting ready to get started. Oh, you know what I need is a piece of scrap paper. Let me put that down under here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the inside first because that's easy. So 
All you gotta do is stamp, and it's 7.15, so somebody keep track of my time. All right, so we're gonna stamp the bottom of each one of these, and it's super easy. And I'm just stamping just a tiny bit off the paper, but this is the inside of the card. It was hot here today. I went out, I started my, I left the house about 9.30 to go to my appointment. And then I got out at, um, my appointment was at 10. I got out at 11. Well, actually it was 11.15 because I went to the Hydrolux massage table thingy. All right, so we're done with that. So now we're gonna do the little um, words. And then I went to Nothing But Cakes, which is, oh my gosh, so delicious. All right, so we're gonna very gently stamp happy birthday on all of these pieces. And hopefully I get them all straight. I don't need that anymore. And I got, they have a new flavor, key lime. But I didn't get that. I got a strawberries and cream, which is to die for. And I got a white chocolate raspberry, which is my favorite. So those are the two flavors I got. And I ate the strawberries and cream one already. And then I went to Sam's Club and I was mad because I get there and they have two chickens left and they're both kind of burnt. And I said, dang, I can't believe it. But I looked at the timer. They had two more ovens going, but both of them had at least 20 minutes and I didn't have time for that. So I took one that was kind of burnt, but it still looks like it's going to be all right because I had a little piece of it when I got home. All right, so we're getting all these birthdays on here. You can use any words you want. If you have something else and you need some thank yous or something like that, you could use that. I can't remember what this birthday is from. I just had it on the table. But it fit this little piece of paper nicely, so that's why I used it. All right, so now we're going to stamp our big blue piece. So this is the quarter sheet. It's five and a quarter by four. So we're going to stamp the edge of this. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put this over here so it doesn't shake the camera. All right, so I'm just stamping around the edge. You could stamp twice, but I found when I did that, you couldn't see it as well. So I'm just gonna stamp the whole way around. And this part right here is gonna be covered with this. So you don't really have to get it like in the middle right there. So there we go. I got my burnt chicken, and then I was mad because every week I've been getting this really, really good Mediterranean like pasta salad that they have with kale and stuff, and they were out of that. So I only went in there for four things, and they were, well, the chicken was burnt. They only had two. They were out of the salad. So I found this other salad that I'm going to try, Southwestern salad with corn and stuff in it. And... What else? I got strawberries. And then I went down to Kroger's and I order Kroger's online and then pick it up because it's so much easier to do that than going shopping. For some reason, I really don't like grocery shopping much anymore because most places don't have any cashiers. So you have to do it yourself. And I am really not into ringing myself up that much because I don't grocery shop all the time. Like when I get my groceries, it's a lot and I don't wanna check it all out myself. So by doing it online and just having them do it, I save at least probably an hour of time. And no, normally they do pretty well getting everything. So except for that watermelon the other day, I got the tiny watermelon. That was not the one I wanted. Stick a little one in there. All right, so we're doing pretty good. I've only been doing this five minutes and I'm almost done with all the stamping. So that's good. This is a quick card. So I haven't decided what I'm gonna do Saturday yet. I do have one card left from my class that I haven't showed you, but I kinda wanna do something brand new from like Celebration or the Holiday Mini or something. So I'm gonna see what I can come up with tomorrow before I go to work. And, 
we'll see what we got. All right. I don't have any jokes either. Anybody got a good joke? I, um, told, you know, the joke I told a few days ago about the old lady at the doctor's office who had the gas. I have told that joke so many times and people just think it is so hysterical. So if you missed that one, go back about three videos because it was a funny one. Let me see. Plus with buying online and picking it up. You, yes, you're right, Judy. That's another thing. Because if I go grocery shopping, I spend so much more money than if I do it online. Because if I do it online, I just go through with my list, get everything on my list, and that's it. If I go in the store, I buy at least probably $50 more stuff. So it does save me money. Because I don't buy all that stuff I don't need. Like ice cream. <laughs> All right, we're done stamping. So there we go. So that didn't take very long at all. And cutting the paper for this one is pretty easy too. It's not like a really hard to cut. All right, so now we're gonna put it together. I think I'm gonna do the inside first. So let's put all the white ones inside. So I've got my glue holder here. Isn't that cute? Love it. This one's almost empty though, I need to get a new one here. All right, so I'm gonna do a few of these at a time. Somebody said that you can't see the glue when I put it on here in the um, camera, but I think I can see it. Oops, I almost put it on the front. That would have been good. Yikes, I just got glue on that. Might have to do another one. All right, so that's gonna go right on the inside. And this one, did I mess it up? I did get a little bit right there, but that's all right. We can wipe it off. Maybe I shouldn't do more than one at a time. <laughs> I can get my little glue eraser and get that off. My gummy eraser. All right, we'll have to fix that one. Maybe I'll just do two at a time. All righty. So I have nothing to talk about. Darn, I already told you about my whole day already. Oh, look, I'm bleeding now. Darn it. Oh, it already, like, stopped. <laughs> That's, like, the third time today I've done that. I keep picking at those bites because they're itching so bad. And I would say that's probably one of the number one things that people are coming into my job for where I work at the urgent care center is bug bites because these um the biting flies and the mosquitoes and everything are so bad right now I don't know if I told you guys the um utilities people came out and um, spray painted everybody's yard because um I think I think this is what's going to happen Verizon is coming out to dig up everybody's yard and put Fios lines in. So my yard that I've spent so much time doing now has paint all over it and they're gonna dig it up. So they have all the yellow and blue and green and red lines all over the yard. And evidently, your front yard is not really your front yard. The city owns part of your yard, so they can do whatever they want. Which I didn't really realize that. So, I'm not too happy that they wait till the middle of the summer when it's, you know, 95 degrees and sunny and hot every day to tear up your yard. So, hopefully they won't do too much damage. The um, massage guy did say, it looked like I've been working out though. He said, your legs seem a little bit more muscular than usual. So I guess all my yard work is paying off a little bit. So that's a good thing. I can't believe my arm is bleeding. <laughs> well, I was swollen up with bites. I think I showed on one of the videos I was really swollen, but it usually only lasts about 24 hours and then it goes down, but it itches even after they go down. These are like from a week ago and they're still itching all the time. 
And um, several people mentioned, you know, take a Zyrtec or something. But I do take allergy medicine every single day because I have allergies anyway. So I used to take Zyrtec. Now I take Zizol. And uh, um, it just doesn't help with the bites. So um, I do take every morning I take a Zizol. And I used to take Claritin, and then I did Zyrtec for a while. The Zysol seems to work pretty well, though. Um, one of my friends at work brought me a whole bunch of vegetables from her garden, like squash and zucchini and green beans, yesterday, and I was so excited. So I get to make some of that. My garden's not doing very good because my yard, my backyard is, it has so many trees, I don't get enough sun. So I do plant a few things, but they never really do much. Like my old house, I had a ton of sun and I would have the best garden every year. And I really miss that. But I didn't have the gorgeous view that I have now. This card's coming together quick. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I think I put that on backwards. No, I didn't. Um, this card has a lot of sparkle on it. I used the shimmer spray. So I don't know if you can see it. But let me see. <laughs> Debbie says, call 911. Lisa's bleeding. <laughs> can you see all the sparkle on there? It's very shimmery. Look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it so pretty so we're gonna be spraying all these now look it stopped it's just clotted at least I have some good clotting um, in my blood I guess I'm not on blood thinners or anything <laughs> mm. I don't know why I am so nasally though today I think just from laying down but I'm telling you what that nap was good nothing like southern veggies I know and you know what? I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of the peach truck. Um, it's this company in, I'm thinking it's Nashville, Tennessee. So they start, they have a peach farm and um, they started selling peaches years ago, you know, just taking their truck around and selling peaches out of the truck. Well, now you can pre-order peaches, you know, by like a bushel or whatever. And so last Saturday, I was supposed to get mine. I ordered them like two months ago. And so they were supposed to deliver them. They they go to like a shopping center near you. And then everybody who ordered them in the area goes and picks them up. And so the night before, I get a notice saying that they are out of peaches. So I guess they're having a shortage this year, like everybody else. So now they've put my date off till the end of July. And I was so bummed because I was really looking forward to getting those peaches and making some stuff. So now I gotta wait another month. Cause that is there's nothing like some fresh peaches. And the ones at the grocery stores are never as good as the ones you can get. Well, anything at the grocery store is never as good as what you get, like from a farm. So my mouth was watering for that. And I didn't get it. And you could put this up on dimensionals if you wanted to, this back piece right here. Um, and that would pop it up even more, but I just popped up the front part so it wouldn't be too fat for um, mailing. All right, so now we've got that done. So how am I doing? 7.15, oh, 15 minutes. I got five more minutes. All right, so we're done with that. Now we're gonna put these two pieces together. So let's flip them over. And I love this green glue. This is probably my favorite glue that we have. Um, I know a lot of people like the other kind, but I like the green glue. And it sticks really well. Once you get it down, it is not coming off. And I think the other one, sometimes if it sits in the heat or something, it might come off. So, oh, just thinking about those peaches makes my mouth water. My friend Michelle, she has a garden that is like unbelievable. And then she also, she also goes picking, gotta make sure these are the right way. 
um, like every week to get something. She goes blueberry. Well, she has blueberries and blackberries in her yard. And then she went peach picking because we have some peach farms here too. But I don't think they're as good as the ones from down south. The best are usually South Carolina and Georgia. I used to have a friend when I was teaching and she had, um, her family owned a peach farm in um, South Carolina. And she would go down there every summer and bring back bushels for everybody, like dirt cheap. And I used to love those. And I'd make some peach cobbler and some, I used to make peach cobbler and then I make a bleach pie, which is blueberries and peaches together. And it was the best combination. So if you have never tried peaches and blueberries together in a pie or a cobbler, it is to die for. And use like maybe two thirds peaches and one third blueberries because you don't want the blueberries to totally overpower the peaches. But I always call it bleach, bleach pie. And it's so good. All right, so we're almost done gluing this stuff. And then we can put it on with dimensionals. That's gonna take a while. But I'm doing pretty good today. Might be 25 minutes, but we're doing good. Let me read some um, comments real quick. Oh yeah, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like, share, all that other good stuff. You ordered the spray today from Amazon, good. You used to have a store, Brennan's, that had chip, chin dripping peaches. Oh, that's the best kind, dripping down your chin. Mm. Oh, they're so good. You know what else I'm dying for? Some corn on the cob. Oh, I love some corn on the cob. Mm. So good. The best thing, best part of grocery shopping is getting all the things you don't need. <laughs> yes. Um... Judy says she told my joke to some of her friends. They thought it was hysterical. I know. A lot, a lot of people shared that joke. The Southwest salad is good, says Amy. Okay, that's good. Because I need some good salads. I found another one that's really good. It was called... Oh, uh, what is it called? Um, now I can't remember. It's a chopped salad. And where did I get it from? I think I got it from Kroger's. And it's a chopped salad and what is in it? Oh, it's avocado and something else. I gotta put dimensionals on the back of these. Um, avocado ranch something. It's at Kroger. I think it's Taylor Farms is the brand name. And it is really good. So I'm just gonna put like five of these on the back. I love salad. I really love salad if everything in it is like fresh from your yard, but I got to deal with the store one. You know what else? Sam's has the pretty good as chicken salad. I got some of their chicken salad today. That was pretty good. They make it from the rotisserie chickens that are left over. And they used to sell all the pieces of the rotisserie chicken, but I guess they don't even have that left over anymore because I used to just buy that sometimes. Y'all need to find me some jokes and send them to me. <laughs> Sometimes I find some good ones online. But I haven't had time to look today because I was too busy napping. I'm glad my arm stopped bleeding so it's not like dripping down <laughs> on the paper. Uh, that would be bad. Because I have nothing in here to stop it. Okay. Oops, let me scroll back up. Marzetti makes a delicious avocado ranch salad dressing. I think I bought it. Um, yeah, I think I got some, but I don't think it was Marzetti. I think it was like boat, Boathouse or something. I'm pretty sure it was called Boathouse Avocado. Oh no, it was Cilantro. Avocado Cilantro Lime Dressing, I think was the name of it. And it was really good. I think I'm going to have that for dinner. Because when I woke up, I didn't have enough time to eat dinner. So, I didn't have any dinner yet. 
All right, so now we just gotta pluck all these off. Oh, you know what else I need to do? Is on the back of the happy birthday, I just want a dimensional on the back of the birthday, not on the back of the happy, because the happy is gonna be on the raised part. So just the birthday needs to be lifted up. So we'll do that real quick. I know last time I did this, somebody commented, it's so boring watching you make 10 of the exact same cards. <laughs> It's like, well, sorry. You could fast forward <laughs> if you're bored. I'm sorry I don't have any exciting stories for you guys today. It was just like a boring day at work yesterday. And nothing exciting except my massage today. All right, so now we are almost ready to put this sucker together. Put my glue back down. Oh, and I gotta put tape on this too. Well, let me put this together first and then we'll do that. All right, so let me pull all these off real fast. Just talk amongst yourselves. All right, so this is gonna go a little bit to the left over here and put it down. Uh-oh, I hear somebody outside. I hope it's not somebody for me because I'm not answering the door. But it sounds like somebody's in the front of my house. Just got a loud engine. All right, so just make sure all these pieces are going the right way because there is a right upside and a downside to them. All right, so I think I missed my 20 minutes by a couple minutes. It won't be 30 minutes probably. But I think it's a pretty quick card. So if you can make 10 in 30 minutes, that's still pretty good. So anybody have a um, preference or anything you would like to see me do on the next few videos? Like any techniques or certain stamp sets if I have them. There was one I saw in the new catalog. I can't remember the name of it. But I saw a really pretty technique with it that I might try for the next one. And it was using, like inking it up and then using sponge daubers for coloring it. And it was so pretty. One of my friends made it at the meeting I went to the other night in the pouring down rain. We finally got rain and it happened to be when I had to go out to a meeting. And I was like, of course it's gonna pour down rain when I have to go somewhere. If I'm staying home, it's not gonna rain. Okay, one more, oh, no, yeah, one more. And then we're almost done. Okay. Anybody have any good shows they're watching? I watched a bunch of Hallmark movies this past uh, weekend. I had taped like from months ago and I finally had a chance to catch up on some of them. So I watched those and they were good. And then I, I taped like 15 episodes of Bull. I love that show, Bull, about the lawyer and... Uh, you know, he solves all these cases, court cases, and that was good. All right, so stick this down. So you'll have half of it hanging off the edge and half of it on the, um, so see what I mean? This part's raised up here, the green piece. So you don't want any more raised up here under the happy, just under the birthday. So then they'll be even going across. So that's what we're gonna do. So make sure you peel off that back piece and just kind of put it half on, half off. And I watched that show, I think I told you guys about it, called Dark Sky. That was really good. And somebody was telling me about a new show on, um, I don't know if it was Hulu or Netflix. I can't remember the name of it now, but it's supposed to be really good. 
But I'm always looking for something good to watch that I can tape. Because normally I don't watch too much live TV. And I love my Hallmark channel. That's my favorite thing to watch. All right. Oh, you love Bull, but do you think he'll be on next year? I don't know. I keep thinking that it's not going to go another year, but then it does. And I just have it automatically set up to tape. And then I like to watch the whole season, like, all at once. So that's what I've been doing the last few days while I've been cutting paper and stuff. Because I had a stamp a stack on Tuesday and Wednesday. So I had to cut a ton of paper for that. And so I just watched, like, just straight one after another episodes of Bull. And I watched a Hallmark movie. And that was it. But I love that show. It's so good. I have a lot of favorites. I also like, um, do any of you guys watch Transplant? It's kind of a sleeper show. Like, it wasn't popular or anything, but it's so good. It's a medical show. And it has this doctor from Syria. And he was a doctor there. And then he came to the United States. And since his license didn't transfer over, he has to like go through medical training all over again. So it's really good. All right, so we're done stamping. Now we're going to put some pearls on. So let me grab my take your pick tool. And... We're going to stick a bunch of pearls on here, right in the middle of some of the flowers, and one up there in the top. So let's see, we'll put like three or so on there, and then one on the corner flower. So just pick whatever ones you want. Each card is totally different, so there's no right or wrong place to put them. But I do have one flower in the top corner of every single one. So that works out. And you can put more pearls on here. That kind of all is in a row. Let me put one more over here. So they're not all totally straight. And you know what we still have to do is put some shimmer on all these. So they will sparkle. And that just makes the card. If you could see it in real life, you would be like, oh my gosh, you have to get some of this shimmer stuff. And my friend Beth, um, she's also my downline. She made these little bottles for everybody in our group um, on Tuesday. So she just went to Dollar Tree, bought the bottles, filled them up with the alcohol and put some shimmer paint in and everybody got their own personal shimmer spray. So that was so sweet of her. She's the sweetest person ever. Oops, I think I missed one. She's always so thoughtful. If only the whole world could be like that. I'll tell you what, yesterday, we I don't know what it was, but we were having some of the meanest patients come in. Oh, I forgot one here. And it was like I had four in a row that were just hateful. And one of them... Um, she calls back up to get my name after she leaves because she couldn't be seen. And uh, she calls back up and I answer the phone and she said, yeah, I want to know your full name and your supervisor's name. And I was just like, what? And she said, yeah, because I'm going to report you. <laughs> and I was like, uh, I don't know what you're going to report me for because um, there's nothing to report except that you couldn't be seen because you didn't have your paperwork with you. And there's nothing we can do about that. So she was just upset and wanted to take it out on me. And that's the thing. You really have to just let it slide off of you. You know, some people are going to get mad no matter what you do. And they're mad because it's their fault. They didn't bring in whatever they're supposed to bring with them. And then you can't see them. And then they get upset, and they're, oh, there's one more. And then they're just going to take it out on you, because it's your fault that they didn't have their stuff with them. So that's how my day started yesterday. All right, so now we're going to do some spraying. Let me get my scrap paper back, because I don't want to mess up my brand new piece of 
paper here. All right, so we're gonna spray all of these with shimmer spray. So I don't know if you can see it when I spray it. It's so pretty. Oh, love it. Can you see all the sparkle? Love it. Just need a couple squirts and it looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I just lost the lid. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. All right, so there we go. How long did that take? Oh, that was 30 minutes exactly. So not too bad. All right, so here are all the cards we made tonight in 30 minutes. Not too bad for all those cards. So I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget you can order anytime you want. Today's the very last day to order from the January to June catalog. Um, you can use this host code. It's already live. Um, I don't know why there's a box around that one. That's weird. Celebration starts tomorrow. You get a free gift with every $50 you order or a couple of them are $100 um, gifts. So you have to order $100, like that one that I showed you that I love, the wonderful world with the flowers, that one. Um, you can sign up and get the starter kit and get the free organizer, planner, and stamp set. Um, also, I'll send you the free card kit. So this card today is the card kit for the next two weeks. So this is what you'll get with your $50 or more order. Um, set of three, um, a set of supplies for three of these. So there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I didn't have anything funny to uh, tell you. <laughs> I'll try and come up with a joke for next time, though. Um, thank you so much for sticking around with me the whole time. Oh, well, we got 125 people on here. That's awesome. Oh, you guys are so awesome. Oh, Terry Moore. Where is Terry Moore? It's her birthday. Happy birthday, Terry. I'm sorry I missed that. Hey, Michelle Avance. Love me some Hallmark. July 9th is the first Christmas. Yeah, they're having like a uh, Christmas marathon, a Christmas in July marathon coming up, I think, the next week, this weekend or next weekend. I want to see Top Gun, too. Um, can I make a matching gift bag and card? Yes. Actually, that's my class for... The end of July is a, like a gift bag and um, cards to go in it. So I'll be doing that at the end of July, maybe in like two or three weeks. Um, let's see. Night Sky on Amazon Prime. It is a really good show. Only Murders in the Building. Oh, I've never heard of that one. I'm going to have to write some of these down after the live is over. Man from Toronto with Kevin Hart. Oh, I love Kevin Hart. He's so funny. Um, let's see. You don't want snow, but you would love to know how to get them to spray a card. What? Debbie Spicer, you are going to do a great job. <laughs> Debbie says, you're going to do a great job. Will, will you send me the 10 cards, please? <laughs> mm. Definitely a great card to use the adhesive foam sheets. Yes, you could on this. Um, I don't know. I, I You could use a big piece in the middle if you wanted to. That would be good. Um, ice cream, yummy. Oh, yeah, July 4th is coming up Monday, but I got to work. Craft with Barbara says, trees poop. Trees poop. Trees, what do you mean, trees poop? <laughs> I heard this. Oh, wait a minute. Do you know that trees poop? This is a joke, but I don't see where it is. I heard this on TikTok. Do you know that trees poop? Okay, I don't see the answer anywhere. Craft with Barbara. I'm looking. Where's punchline? I don't see it. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to run. Thanks for all the suggestions for shows. I'm going to try and write them down after the live is over. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and everything, and then you can win cards. I'll see you later um, on Saturday. Don't forget it's going to be early, not date night. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye.